Happy Wednesday. What's up? What's up? What it do? Hope you're having a great Wednesday. Great day. I'm good. I'm doing good. Uh, you know the routine, social media. You on Twitter, follow me. I'll follow you back at underscore Clarence Jones. Instagram, underscore Clarence Jones. Check out my website, cjsportsmedia.com. All right, man. Um, don't want to waste your time. Um, but a lot been on my mind lately uh, since Sunday. I know you know what happened on Sunday, okay? <laughs> um, I hate to talk about it, but that's the way it went down. Uh, as far as my Falcons and, and, and my wife, Saints, all you Saints fans out there, you you know, we was up on you, you know, putting the beating on you and you came back. You know, my Falcons notorious for letting teams come back and we lose by a field goal. And my Falcons wasn't the only team that lost by a field goal. I mean, week one of the NFL was crazy, right? I mean, how many games was decided on a field goal? I mean, I, I've lost count. <laughs> okay. So I, I had enough of it. Um, I've been saying this for a minute now. This has nothing to do with my Falcons losing on Sunday by a field goal. Okay. Like real talk. Seriously. I've been saying this like since like for, for the past two or three years now, you know, I said place kicking needs to be out of football. You know, place kicking should be removed from the game of football. I just don't like it. And I get it. You know, there's so many games that's won by field goals. Uh, we talking regular season. We talking playoffs, um, Super Bowl with Tom. I mean, how many Super Bowls Tom Brady won based on, you know, field goals. So, you know, there's some good in it. There's some bad in it. You know, we all a fan of, you know, some 32 teams in the NFL. We all a fan of one of the teams. And uh, I'm sure as a fan, you know, we can remember our team winning by a field goal, whether that was in a regular season, uh, playoffs or Super Bowl. And I'm sure we can remember our team losing, whether it was a regular season, playoffs, or Super Bowl. So I'm here to just say it. I just think it needs to go. I just don't like it. You know, we're talking 11 men on one side of the ball, 11 men on the other side of the ball battling it out. That's 22 men on the field battling it out. You know, fourth quarter, clock's ticking, overtime, clock's ticking. And a kicker can come on the field and change that vibe, that momentum, that you on the edge of your seat, biting your lips, and you're shaking and you're shivering, you're praying, and a kicker can come out and just mess all that up. I just, I'm not a fan of it, you know. I can remember a couple of years ago, um, Skip Bayless from Fox Sports, you know, he got the show, uh, him and Shannon uh, got the show called Undisputed. And I can remember a couple, I can't remember what year, because the show started in 2016. But I remember even Skip Bayless saying that he just not a fan of kicking. You know, he, he just think kicking shouldn't be a part of football. And, you know, surprisingly, I agree with him. I was just like, you know what, thinking about it, you know, battling it out. You know, you got 22 men on the field battling it out, trying to get a win. And a kick through a, a goal can end all that. <laughs> you know, and like I said, we've both had it both ways, you know, from as far as our teams go. I'm a Falcon fan. Um my Falcons have won plenty of games, okay, based on field goals. And we've lost, just like last Sunday, we've lost games based on field goals. What will football be like without place kicking? I think it'll be all right. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm still cool with the uh, kickoff return team, the kickoff receiving team. I'm cool with that. I would like that to stay. But as far as just the place kicking and going for that one point or that three points, when it's, you know, the game is lit, is is I mean, everybody's out they see, crowd going crazy. You know what I'm saying? You about to have a heart attack, you sweating, you nervous, you can barely catch your breath. I love that feeling. You know what I'm saying? Because that's why I love sports. And I'm sure that's part of why you love sports. Just that drilling going, that what's gonna happen moment, but then when a kicker come on that field and set it up, nine times out of ten, it's more than likely going in. You know, and if it don't go in, I, I get it. There's some type of hope. Oh, hope it don't go in. But majority time, let's be honest here. Let's keep it real. It goes in. And when it goes in, that's the end of the game. You no longer breathing crazy. You, no shaking, no shivering, no nothing. It's just like, bam, like, where did that go? <laughs> 
it left that fast. So that's why I'm just not a fan of it. You know, and this is no disrespect to all the kickers in the world, from Pop Warner to, to middle school, high school, youth football, college football, even at the NFL level. This is no disrespect to any kickers out there. You know, you a kicker, keep doing your thing, um, and I wish you the best in your profession. You know, whatever level you on, I wish you the best in your next level. And if you're at that highest level, keep doing good. You know, I'm not hating on kickers. I'm not talking bad on kickers. I just think it shouldn't be part of the game. And I just told you why. You know, I've talked to several fantasy football owners. I'm a fantasy football owner too. Love fantasy football. And, I, and you know, pretty much a lot of times I love to, like, talk to other owners to see, you know, how they feel about league rules and, you know, lineups and stuff like that. And I always ask every owner when I talk to them, yo, uh, do you got a kicker in your league? No. And I'm like, really? You know what I'm saying? Nobody got a kicker. I mean, people don't even want kickers in their league. Most, like, most fantasy owners, I'm, like, I'm talking to, they don't even have uh, kickers in their league as far as, like, in their lineup. It's just basically defense, receivers, running backs, and quarterbacks, and tight ends. That No kickers. <laughs> now, in my league, that I've been running for seven seasons now. We have, you know, kicking in our league. You know, cjsportsmedia.com slash cffl. Um, you know, because kicking helps out. Like I say, I'm – I'm all with it, you know, for fantasy purposes. But let's be honest here. I mean, kicking is just, it's a spoiler, you know. Why do I still got it in my fantasy league if I don't like it? Because most people in my league like it. Now, if we had everybody come to me and say, yo, Clarence, I'm not feeling, you know, kicking, man, you know, remove kicking. I strongly consider it, but it has to be, everybody has to be on board. You know, if we got up, because I got a 12-team league, so, Include me. So if we got, you know, half that's saying, hey, keep it, then the other half saying, you know, don't keep it, I'm more likely to keep it. So, I mean, even at the fantasy football level, fantasy owners, fantasy players not filling kickers. <laughs> Nobody wants to draft a kicker, <laughs> you know. Draft picks are, are, are very uh, – you got to be careful, you know, when you're drafting in fantasy football, okay. You just got to be careful. You don't want to mess around and, um, you know, waste a draft pick. And some people look at that, uh, you know, draft the kicker as, man, that's wasting time right there. You know, I can go out and get a, a, another receiver or another running back, maybe a tight end. So even at the fantasy football level, fantasy owners and players ain't feeling the kicking. So just let that sink in. Now, like, of course, the game would be different if kicking wasn't involved. Like I said, as far as place kicking go. We can keep the kickoff return. We can keep the kickoff receiving. But place kicking, it just, it's a vibe killer. It kills the mood. You know, it let go of your sweat, that, that hard breathing, and you're on the edge of your seat. You don't want to check your phone. You don't want nobody talking to you because the game is so close. You don't want nobody talking to you or nothing like that. And then all of a sudden, like I said, a kicker come on the field and boom, game over. Um, Last night, I, I was like, you know, as I'm putting the podcast together, I was thinking, I was like, um, Speaking of kicking, I wonder how many kickers in the NFL Pro Football Hall of Fame, you know, and I was like, it can't be, you know, this is my guess, you know, this is going on my gut. I was like, it can't be 10. And kind of find out it's only four, you know, it's only four uh, Hall of Fame um, kickers in the NFL Hall of Fame, you know, uh, Morton Anderson, um, Jan Stenard. I hope, I say, I hope I'm saying that right. If I didn't, I definitely apologize. Uh, George Blanda and Lou Graza. Again, Morton Anderson, Janster Rod, G George Blada, Blada, and Lou Gr Graza. Again, like I said, if I mispronounce these, I'm sorry. I apologize. No disrespect at all. But these are the four kickers. That's in the Hall of Fame. Only four. You know, Morton Anderson played from 1980 to 2007. Um, Jan Stenerod played from 1967 to 1979. George Blanda played from 1949 to 1975. And Lua Graza played from 1946 to 1967. 
you know, Morton Anderson. I know him very well. Falcon fans, we know Morton Anderson very well, don't we? You know, 98-99 season, who took us to the Super Bowl off a field goal kick? Morton Anderson. We beat the Minnesota Vikings. So, I mean, that's a memory right there that I have stuck in my brain. That's never going to go away. I can remember, you know, as a little boy watching that game, praying that that, that field goal goes in. So I'm just like not bashing field goal kicking and say, oh, man, so you don't like kicking at all. You know, kicking never worked in your favor. Yes, it have. Yes, it did. It worked in my favor. But it also did not. And I just think overall I would have just get rid of it. You know, go for it on fourth or down or either punt it. You know, let's let the men battle. 22 men on the field. Let's let them battle. Don't let it be decided by a kicker. You know, but like I said, Morton Anderson, man, you know, he played for the Saints first, then he came to my Falcons. But, yes, I, I remember that. You know, he took it to the Super Bowl off that kick. So, yeah, you know, he played, what, 25 seasons in the league, Saints and my Falcons. Um, like I said, he sent us to the Super Bowl, 98-99. Uh, Jan Stutterrod, he was a great kicker for the uh, Chiefs and Packers and Vikings. Okay. He's known as one of the Chiefs, Packers, and Vikings' best kickers in history. George Blanda, he played in the league for 26 seasons. He was a quarterback and a kicker. Wow, so he, he was a dual threat. You know, he played both positions. Okay? And uh, he's a champion. You know, Super Bowl champion. He died. He's no longer with us. Uh, he died in 2010. Uh, Lou Graza, this, hey, he was so great. You know, this man, this man was so great in the game of football, especially in, in the kicking department. This man was so great. Okay, are you ready for this? This man, okay, this man has a college award named after him. I didn't even know that until last night as I'm doing my research. Okay, and most of my research came from um, Google. Um, I read a few articles. Um, one that stand out to me was sportskeeda.com. Okay, sportskeeda.com. Um, let's get the name. I want to make sure I get the name of the person that put together the article. Uh, Henry Q. Bueller. Henry Q. Bueller from sportskeeda.com is where I got this information from as far as the four um, kickers Hall of Fame. I guess I had no idea it was even four. I didn't even know it was a kicker in it uh, Hall of Fame. Real talk, seriously. Okay. But, yeah, Lou Garaza. He has a college award named after him. Uh, and, and peek this out. This is why some people may say, because I read a few articles where they were saying it could be three kickers only and not four. But this is why. Oh, I, I even read some where they say it's only two. Um, Morton Anderson and um, Jan Sunderrod. Okay, because they actually kick and didn't play anything else but kicking. Okay. But when you go to George Blanda, okay, played 26 seasons in the league. He was a quarterback and a kicker, Super Bowl champion. You know, he died in 2010. God rest his soul. He didn't just play the kicking position. He played the quarterback, you know, quarterback position also. So maybe that's why he's not, you know, included in that. Like on certain articles I read last night, they didn't have him as a Hall of Fame kicker. Like Hall of Fame player, but not a Hall of Fame kicker. Okay. Um, same goes for Lou Graza. You know, yes, he got a college award named after him. Okay, the kicking award. But peep this out. He played tackle. Uh, he played center and defense alignment along with kicking. So he was a defense alignment, he was a center, and he was a offensive tackle. Okay. Along with kicking. Four time Super Bowl champion. So, you know, he died in 2000. He's no longer with us either. Okay. God rest his soul, Lou Graza. He died. He's no longer with us. He died in 2000. So you think about this. Okay. So as I'm reading this, I'm like, all right, George, George Blonda played multiple positions. Lou Graza played multiple positions. So, you know, these guys were talented. And I, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, maybe back then, this is pretty much what you had to do to make, I don't know, more money. Um, just, you know, teams didn't have enough bodies. Uh, teams probably didn't have enough players on their roster, so you had to probably play two sides of the ball, 
maybe, you know, you play offense and, you know, one possession, you play defense and the next. I, I don't know how they did it. Uh, Morton Anderson played from 1982 to 2007. Like I said, I do remember Morton Anderson right when I started watching football. Okay, 98, 99, when my Falcons was hot. Like I said, his kick took us to the Super Bowl. We lost to John Elway and the Broncos. They beat us down. Okay, so out of all the four Hall of Fame kickers that I just named, Morton Anderson is the only one I remember. And I only remember him basically, like I said, because, you know, he played, you know, he, he retired in 2007. I started watching football in 98, 99. So I know my Falcon players. But everybody else, as far as Jan Stenerod, uh, George Blanda, and Lou Graza, I don't remember them. So I was still, uh, even last night, a little bit today, just going back on YouTube, uh, watching all their work. And like I said, these four men were great. Okay, at the at their position, whether it was kicking and quarterback or tackle or defensive lineman or center, these four men were great. But the reason why I wanted to search just to see, it's only arguably two, three, maybe four uh, kickers in the Hall of Fame. That should tell you something. And like I said, this is no disrespect to Morton Anderson, Jan Stenerod, George Blanda, and Lou Graza. And all the kickers out there in the world, whether you're kicking for high school team, your college team, your middle school, your Pop Warner team, you football league team, this is no disrespect to you. Keep doing your thing. Keep getting that leg strong and keep making your kicks. This is just my you know, perspective. This is just how I feel about it. I think the game could be better without it. You know, will we miss it? Of course. Like I said, because those moments are fun to see. Oh, is he going to make it or miss it? Because I think that's why a lot of, you know, I'm going to talk to a lot of people also about this, like, last year sometime. You know, like, d d different people. And a lot of people were saying the only thing they would, they, they would really miss about it is just the speculation of, okay, if it's not a 20-yarder, if it's not a 30-something yarder, if it's not a 40-something yarder, when they get to that 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 55, 56, 60 yarder, 64 yarder, 68 yarder, 70 yarder. When it gets to that, that's where, you know, a lot of people I, I remember talking to saying they would miss that moment because even though it's a kicker and even though they stopped the game, you know, with 22 men battling on the field, it's still a uh, pressure on them now. Will they make this 55 yarder? Will they make this 60 yarder? Will they make this 44 yarder? And that also brings the Shaking and shivering and nervous because you got fans saying, I hope my kicker makes it. But then you got the fans over here saying, oh, I hope he miss. He's going to miss. He's going to miss. So, you know, it's not hurting the game. OK, let's get that understood. I'm not on this podcast today saying that place kicking is hurting the game. Maybe I'm in my feelings based on what happened on Sunday with my Falcons and Saints, but I'm really not. OK, but a lot of people will probably say, man, well, he just in his feelings. He hurt. You know, Falcons were up, you know, big, but not big, but they were up on the Saints. They let the Saints came back and they lost by a field goal. And then the last play of the game, uh, Falcons, you know, field goal got blocked or whatever like that. So many of you, especially you Saints fans, okay, will say I'm hating or, oh, you just mad or, you know, you're in your feelings. You know, you're emotional, you know, you're emotional right now. But that ain't the case. Okay, I, I promise you, that's not the case. <laughs> I just think the game just – should go with just let 22 men battle it up. Like I said, I ain't going to lie to you. I, I do love those moments when it's not just a 10-yard a field goal or a 15-yard field goal or 20. I love it when they get to those like 40, 50, 60, and 70. And a lot of them did got to that this past weekend. You know, between, um, what, 35 and, and, and 50 and, and 60-something, a lot of the games were deciding on those field goal attempts. But I'm just thinking as a whole, do we really need, you know, as a unit, you know, bring everybody together as a whole. Do we really need kicking in the game of football? Will it hurt that bad? Will it feel weird? Will it be different if a team just say, you know, we're just going to punt? You know, oh, just go for it on fourth down. And I get it. Field goals are good. You know, you get your three points. You get your one point. I get it. Tom Brady won, what, at least, what, three Super Bowls out of his seven? Base off field goals alone? Remember when Tom Brady was winning, you know, the first couple of years with the Patriots? Everybody, oh, he won by a field goal. They won by a field goal. Like, people hated that. 
I remember growing up as a kid hearing all the adults, you know, talking football, saying, oh, it was just a field goal. He, he got lucky. It was just a field goal. He got lucky. I'm like, why, why are you saying that, Brady? You know, in his field goal, like, what's going on? And then as I got older and I started learning the game, I'm like, oh, that's what they meant. You know, he won, what, three of his Super Bowls based on field goals. What happened if those field goals not included? Do Tom Brady got seven championship rings today? That's something to think about. I'm just saying that that that's something to think about. If field goal wasn't part of football, some of our best moments that we remember watching and, and being at the game, whether it's high school, college, or the professional level, Pop Warner, youth football, if field goal wasn't involved, would some of the moments that we love and remember be the same? Would Tom Brady be a seven-time Super Bowl champion? Okay. I'm sure the Panthers back then got something to say about that. I'm sure the Patriots back then got something to say about that. The Eagles got something to say about that. I mean, Brady won a lot of his chips off field goals. What happens if it's not in the game? We can see a different side of football. We don't know how we may feel. You just can't say, oh, man, it, it wouldn't work out. We need kicking. I mean, look, I'm not passionate. I'm not saying it's hurting the game. Remember that. Like, you got a lot of people out here, you know, stay off my lawn, you know, stay off my grass type thing where it's like, oh, uh, it's ruining the game and they need to get out. No, I ain't, I ain't saying that. It's not hurting the game. I just want to, man, I just, you know, like I said, and I've been saying this for a year, two years now. So this has nothing, again, this has nothing to do with, oh, he just mad because his Falcons lost by a field goal. It just stops the game and it just put game – it put the game momentum in a different place where it's like, okay, they about to kick. More than likely, they're going to make the kick. We're going to lose. They're going to win. But a lot of times, that's how it is. But when it's a miss, of course, we feel good because our team got another chance or either our team won the game because they missed the field goal. But think about it. Even, even at the line, you know, when you got the field goal set up, the defense on this side of the ball, the offense on this side, you can't really play that much defense for real. I mean, you got, I mean, we've seen some things. Don't get me wrong. We've seen people hop over the line and get to the kicker. We've seen edge rushers got there quick. But how many times we see that? We don't see that a lot. But when we see it, we get amped. It's like, oh, you saw what he did. He jumped over the line, bro. Oh, he came from the edge and he, you know what I'm saying? Those are moments to talk about. But my whole thing is we don't get them a lot. We don't get them moments a lot. Half the time, you either... You know, it's a flag on the play, and it's, oh, the team got to move up now and to kick closer, and then before you know it, game over. You know, but when we get them moments, of course we love them. It just, it's not a whole lot of those moments. You know, whether you playing Madden, you playing football in real life, you, <laughs> you don't get a lot of those moments. I'm sorry, we just don't. And that's why I'm like, I think overall, if I close this podcast out, overall, I think we can do it without place kicking. Like I said, again, I'm not saying it's hurting the game. It's a part of football. I get it. I understand. It's historic. We got four Hall of Famers in the NFL Hall of Fame for place kicking. And I respect all four. And I respect all kickers in the world that's kicking at every single level of football. But I think that we can do without the place kicking. This NFL week, man, this past week one was crazy. It went down to, I mean, hell, let's talk about this past month. Well, not even this past, two days ago, two nights ago, Russell Wilson came back to Seattle. That went down to a field goal where it should have been Russell with the ball, but, you know, that's another story for another day. Russell should have had the ball in his hands, but Coach Hackett took it out of Russell's hands and, you know, decided, hey, I'm going to kick it. That ruined the game because the game was lit. The game was good. I was in the car, you know, me, me, me and my wife was in the car coming from work. We, you know, we listened to the radio and we like, okay, you can't wait to get home. So by the time we got home, we like, huh? A kicker? A kick? What? You know, because it just, even in the car coming home as we listening to the game, butterflies and, you know, she a Saints fan. I'm a Falcon fan. We're not Broncos fans. We're not Seahawks fans. But it was just that momentum. Like, oh, what's going to happen? And that's what football does. You know, you don't have to be a fan of either team. It's just that moment when it's crunch time. You don't want that to be ruined by a field goal, whether it's made or miss. You want to see what happened. Is they going to score a touchdown? Somebody going to get a sack, interception? Somebody going to get a fumble? That's what we want to see. 
But that went down to a kicker, you know, missing the field goal. And so it's not only me and my Falcons. There's plenty of people out here probably feel the same way I feel. And it's probably something that think I'm tripping, saying, man, he, man, he, he crazy. <laughs> and that's all good because everybody's entitled to their opinion. Like I said, again, I'm not saying it's hurting the game. I just think we can do without it. Okay. All right. Um, that's all I got. Okay. Um, man, um, great game last night, by the way. Uh, speaking of games between, uh, well, not, well, not a so much great game for the Sun. Uh, WNBA uh, Finals. Uh, Aces is running away with this thing. Las Vegas Aces is running away. Coach Becky Hammond. Uh, man, this, I mean, Chelsea. Asia, I mean, they plumb. I mean, they doing it up, man. I, I don't know what's going on with the son, John Quell Jones and Bonner. I, I don't know. They just don't look prepared. They don't look ready. They look too relaxed. I don't see any enthusiasm. I don't see any energy. I, I don't see any effort. I just, I don't know. And I, 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 I picked the son to go to the WNBA Finals to play the Storm. I didn't thought the son would come out like this, but then again. Vegas got that defense. Las Vegas Aces got that defense, man. And uh, they proven why they are where they are. I mean, they, hell, you think they great on offense? They even greater on defense. It's hard to score on the Aces. Coach Becky Hammond got them looking good. A.J. Wilson, congratulations. Uh, shots out to A.J. Wilson on winning uh, this season's MVP. I believe this is the second MVP, I think. A.J. Wilson is killing the game. I mean, she's doing her thing. South Carolina Gamecocks go Gamecocks. Yeah, we lost to Arkansas on Saturday. I ain't going to get into that because I'm still bothered by that. It was a bad weekend for me other than fantasy football. I did win in fantasy football this week. Okay, I, I won that, so I was happy. You know, once my, my Gamecocks lost on Saturday, <laughs> my Falcons lost on Sunday, I say, well, hope is still alive. You know, my hope is still alive because my fantasy team is doing great, and I'm 1-0, and I'll take that and be proud. Okay. But, yeah, just think about what I'm saying. Um, if you want to highlight me or talk about it, you know, hit me up on social media. Check out the website. Send me an email, and let's talk about it. But if you don't let, you know, want to talk about it, that's cool, too. But just think about that. You know, when you're out with your friends or just out you know, by yourself or just at a football game, whether it's high school, college, or NFL, think about could you as a fan, could you go without not having place kicking involved? Would you lose your mind and be like, oh, man, I ain't watching football no more. They don't got plays kicking. No plays kicking. Oh, man, I, I, I ain't watching them. more. Let's go on a strike. Let's start a petition. Will that get you that rowdy if they took out place kicking? No one likely they're not going to do it. I'm just, just something to think about. How would you react? What would you do? What would you say? How would you feel? All right. And again, like I said, I'm down to still keep kicking, you know, Kickoff returning, uh, kickoff receiving. I'm down with that. Keep that going because I love that side of special teams. Somebody can run it back. Somebody can get hit. Somebody can get truck. But when they come down to, like I said, everybody, yeah, let's go. You know, whether you're in the car, you're at home, you know, wherever you're at, the Super Bowl party, and you want to see how this thing going to end, and you decided then all of a sudden that one team called timeout, and they bring that kick out, and all your drilling just zoom, gone. Your breath stop and you just like, okay, game over with. Game over with. <laughs> you can better catch your breath, but you know, yeah, game over. All that drilling gone. All that, I mean, you was amp, you and your friends, you know, wife, husband, whoever, you know, everybody, your family, friends, everybody was lit, right? Then that kicker come out and that, that, that kicker just ruined everything. All right, good night, everybody. Let's go home. I don't like that. <laughs> Think about it. If you want to talk about it, holler at me. Um, have a great day. Um, free Brittany Griner. I'm still praying for you. Uh, thinking about you every day, hoping you're you know safe, and um, hope to have you home soon. So keep everybody, uh, you know, everybody out there that's listening. Please keep Brittany Griner in your prayers. Uh, WBA Finals game three is tomorrow. Sun is in big trouble because even if the Sun win tomorrow, they still playing under pressure because game five is at Las Vegas building. Okay, so even if the, everybody's like, oh, well, Clarence, man, the uh, Aces won to it. They building, right? I said, yeah. Then why can't the Sun win to it? They building. They could. I ain't say they couldn't, but it's going to be hard as hell. It's going to be pressure. 
they got to win three straight, basically, because they down, what, 2-0. They got to win three games straight. Let's be honest. You really think they're going to beat the Las Vegas Aces three games straight? I like the Sun. They got some ballers. But you think they're going to beat the Aces three games straight? Come on now. Think. Use your brain. Don't say nothing crazy. <laughs> but I will be tuning into that tomorrow also. Um, yeah, it's it just crazy. I, I really thought it was going to tie it up last night, but. That Aces defense and offense ain't no joke, but especially that defense. I love that defense. Oh, my God. All right, like I say, uh, Twitter, at underscore Clarence Jones. Check out the website, cjsportsmedia.com. Um, like I said, fantasy football, blogs, podcasts, services, all that great stuff on there. And uh, you have a blessed day. Have a safe day. And I hope your team win, by the way. You know, if you're uh, far from NFL and college, like I say, my Gamecocks, we got a tough one this Saturday. We got the Georgia Bulldogs. We just lost to Arkansas in somewhat of a shootout. We got Georgia coming up. Say a prayer for me. And my Falcons got the Rams, who just got beat down last Thursday against Josh Allen and the Bills. So you know the Rams are going to be pissed off. They're going to be mad. You know Aaron Donald going to want to get to Marcus Mariota. Say a prayer for me. It's not looking good uh, for my teams. Gamecocks football, Falcons football. <laughs> Let's talk about it. All right, um, yeah, but again, I'm out. That's it. Um, thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Like I said, again, shouts out to all the kickers in the world. Okay, if you're kicking at any level of football, keep kicking. Don't let what I'm saying stop you. This is just my feeling, my opinion. Keep doing your thing. Keep getting your legs strong and keep getting your money. Keep getting notarized. You know, keep getting those scholarships for, for kicking that ball. Okay. It's all love and respect, never hate. Just my gut feeling, my opinion. God bless. Be safe. Peace.